is that um, it's a band around your wrist that um, vibrates and um, makes a sound at the time you wish to wake up. And you can't take off, the, um, take off the band or disarm the alarm until you go across the room and where a puzzle appears on the tablet. And you have to complete that puzzle in order to disarm the alarm. All right, so first we had to choose a communication method. We ended up going with Bluetooth um, just because it's more than uh, it's in both of our laptops, so it's easy to make uh, a virtual simulation um, using that. And then it's also used by a lot of people, so there's a lot of data and stuff for that. Um, and also we researched about different alarm systems. We were curious about what would sort of be the ideal um, sound to wake a person up. We were wondering if you should have a constant, um, the same alarm every single day, or would people become immune to that? So um, we looked up some research and there's actually very few actual case studies that um, sleep studies about alarms. So uh, we're going to look even deeper into that. Um, okay. um, so then we decided to create a virtual simulation of the alarm system uh, because originally we had this big picture idea and we didn't really know, we didn't really have a starting point. Um, so we created a virtual simulation of each part of the tablet and of the watch so that once we fi once we finish that, we can replace the watch simulation with an actual watch, and then we have um, the parts to test with um, the right program. Um, and we um, communicated between uh, different pieces of hardware wirelessly. Um, so since we're using um, an Arduino with Bluetooth Shield for now, uh, we communicate. Um, we try communicating between um, the two Arduinos with Bluetooth Shields. And then we, um, we also communicated between two Lenovo laptops. And right now we're um, attempting to communicate between the Arduino with Bluetooth Shield and a laptop that has Bluetooth in it. And uh, yeah. So right now I'm going to show you a demo of the virtual simulation. All right, so um, I have it automatically connecting to uh, her laptop, just by the um, ID. Um, I have a menu just mostly for debugging and stuff, and um, I have a time set here and the setting of the alarm here. Um, I wrote this in um, C sharp mostly because I've dabbled with it before and I sort of knew what I was doing. Um, it took a little while to get back in there. So once you set the alarm, it, set, it shows you the time that you set there. Um, once it reaches that time, it'll send a signal. Um, we have the, the opposite program running on her computer, um, and it'll send a signal to her computer, and her computer will um, start making um, sound. sound yeah. <clears throat> so yeah, just about 10 more seconds. <laughs> Sound because his computer sent over the signal. And then, and then uh, once the alarm goes off, this right here will be where we'll have the puzzles. Um, but for now, it's a really simple puzzle. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> and this computer is sort of representing the tablet in which the puzzles appear. Also, um, we're also going to show you a demo of what um, we aim for his laptop to represent the tablet to be able to make the Arduino. Um, here, 
I don't look it up right now. But um, right here we have an Arduino Uno with a Bluetooth shield on top of it. Um, and it's connected to a speaker. Um, so I programmed um, an alarm into this. So it's a simple melody that's repeating for now. And uh, I've done a program that starts the alarm. And our aim is to make uh, the tablet be able to control this by completing the puzzle, then it'll disarm that alarm. Um, We've had problems with uh, switching from the regular Bluetooth uh, to serial port communication, um, but that, we'll probably figure that out in a little while. Because mm -hmm. um, this Bluetooth shield is um, serial Bluetooth. Okay, so. Um, Do you want to just show it? Yeah, I'll, I'll it up. So, as you can see, uh, we get a plug in. This piece of equipment's very large. This is an Arduino Uno. This is a Bluetooth shield. And for now, it's just a breadboard and a giant speaker. And that is definitely way too big to fit into a risk component. But um, we have plans. I'll show you. Um, so right now, Arduino Uno and Bluetooth shield. But this is the RF Duino. Um, the RF Duino is developed by open source RF. It's a Kickstarter for, um, a Kickstarter uh, item. And uh, it's. It, they, they're starting to release in a few weeks everything, but um, the schematics, for example, in case we want to create our own, or to even just simply buy one, that's gonna, they're not even releasing that part yet, but the size of it is, as you can see, the size of like fingertip. So that'll definitely be small enough to fit into um, a risk component, and that includes the Bluetooth and the Arduino. So that is a huge um, revolution in uh, you know, hardware and everything. So we're definitely looking into that. Um, and also it's powered by simply a small um, coin-sized battery. So that would be definitely useful. Cool. Oh, okay. oh, yes. Um, next we're gonna work, we also have to work on um, programming either our own puzzles or finding some uh, API or something like that that has puzzles that we can use. Um, we're not really sure what direction we want to go with that. And we're also looking at default settings. Um, when we distribute this product, what should be the default settings on it for the people who um, you know, are not looking to play with it, you know, put in their own um, kinds of sounds, etc. we're trying to figure out. So we're, that's why the research about what's the ideal alarm system is so important. Um, then we also have to create the um, actual wristband casing to hold the hardware um, that will eventually um, get uh, made. And then uh, we also want, need to eventually find people to test it on. So that would be interesting. <laughs> yeah. So um, we would like to thank Dr. Goldschmidt, Dr. Murphy, Sean O'Sullivan, and all you Arkansas members. I don't know if it has a Bluetooth built in, but the lily pad? Is mm, yeah, I think so. I think it's that for the wrist. Um, pardon? It looks at that for the wrist, or is that not? That? Um, I, I don't think it has Bluetooth. I it's don't think yeah, it Bluetooth built in. Okay. So we'd have to find a Bluetooth. A Bluetooth uh, shield for that, which a Bluetooth shield tends to be fake. Uh, TI makes an MSP430 based wrist launch development kit that's basically a programmable wrist launch with like a little vibrating motor and speaker and stuff in it. Oh, wow. I think it has Bluetooth, and I know you can program it using Energia, which is a port of um, Arduino's language for MSP430. So you might want to look at that. There's a good chance you can just run the Arduino code on it as So just connecting that to whatever tablet we end up using? And I don't know if it has Bluetooth, but if it does, it might be an easy solution since yeah. it's already in wristwatch form. Oh, great. Thank you. So I have a wristwatch with Bluetooth in it that'll connect to my tablet, and so you might consider just making like a Pebble app or some other smartwatch there at times. What is it? So what? What, run, what does it run on? Uh, it's a Pebble. It runs Python, and so you write little Python okay. apps. Oh yeah, um, yeah. Pebble is definitely different than what our idea is because Pebble is is a smartwatch, which yeah. literally does a lot of different functions. But you know, it's important because a lot of people might have that, so it might be really useful to use you know a piece of hardware that people already own. I 
Have you thought about integrating sensors into the band to determine when the person is in their lightest phase of sleep? Um, yeah, so uh, this is, uh, so the aim of this watch is definitely not concerned with, um, is, it the, uh, is it the best, um, is it a way to wake them up to them to feel the best? It's actually just to wake them up to get them out of bed to get them where they need to be. For example, if a student has been up until 6 a.m. studying for something or this or that, you know, and they or working on a project till 6 a.m. or something, they need to be in class by 8 it's going to be very hard for them to get out of bed. So something will need to just wake them up immediately, wake their body up too, and get them out of bed. So yeah. But there's definitely um, other uh, um, other alarm systems that are meant to wake the person up in the best way possible, such as different lighting systems. So.